Good morning, it's Fiona Fox with another unboxing. Today we have the Corp MK Retro Typewriter Style Mechanical Keyboard. This is a really neat keyboard I've had my eye on for a little while. We're going to get this thing out of the box. It comes in a really fancy box, you guys. Like, look at this box. It's so fancy, man. Like, tap there. And we'll get on the inside. Look at this keyboard. I mean, so this is a typewriter style keyboard. I'm sure some of y'all are old enough to know what a typewriter is. Get this plastic out of the way. Get the car out of the box. We'll come back to this box in a little bit, you guys. Look at that. I mean, wow. Just look at that. It's shiny. It's pretty. Is mechanical keyboard. Hear that clicking? It's not as loud as some other mechanical keyboards. Um, it will show exactly what switches are in here on the box. Uh, and I haven't looked it up. So, But it is a typewriter style mechanical keyboard. Also in the box, from the folks at ASIO, we've got our little pack of information. Cleaning cloth. You know I love cleaning cloths. This is awesome to get a cleaning cloth with it. And of course we've got our user guide. Which is just going to tell us, you know, how to plug in a keyboard. You guys, you guys know how to plug in a keyboard, right? So let's look at the keyboard itself. Here we've got big feet. One, two, three, four big anti-slip anti feet. Which is good because this is not that heavy of a keyboard. Uh, you know, it's not the heaviest thing in the world. Uh, I'm going to plug it in to my USB hub over here just to see if we can get the lights to come on. Mm, no. That was worth the track. So, got a little typing on it. It's clicky. It's definitely a clicky board. Uh, so, it's got a little neat lights on the side here. I was trying to get the light up for you guys, but I plugged it into the USB. It probably has to be in a computer. So, I'll show you guys that in a full review. But that's what comes in your box. You got keyboard, USB cable. This is a braided cable. Very nice, braided cable. No USB pass throughs. No fancy lights on the back or any of the buttons. Just no backlighting. Just the uh, standard light up buttons. The keys are not standard keycaps. Let's pull one off there just so I could show you. Probably pretty hard to see that, but hopefully you can see that that has uh, a, like a plus sign on it, so it's not a standard keycap layout. Um, but you can remove them very easily, you don't need a keycap puller or anything. And the only other thing in the box is a little troubleshooting guide. Right there. Troubled? Happy. And that just has contact information on uh, how to get to Ozio. This has been an unboxing of the Ozio. MK Retro Mechanical Keyboard. 